machen wir erstmal in den Neben. Now that you've crawled through the darkness, you finally see the light? Good to see you again, Mick. Sometimes I'm Mick, but other times I'm just known as mankind. And after what you've just gone through, I'm guessing you'd like someone around who knows a little something about what you've experienced. Doesn't seem like there's too many of us, that's for sure. You were taking souls, but what mankind would take was punishment. I lived for it. The more abuse there was, the stronger I became. How much could you take, Cap? I could take all of it. Then you need to test your limits in the match that made mankind legendary. Hell in a cell. And I've got just the opponent and a little bit of my pixie dust to make it feel extra special. I think that's exactly what I need to put this all behind me. Let's go to hell. structure in WWE and one that transformed my career forever. Your supernatural powers may have been otherworldly, but let's take it down to earth as we find out how you fare against the ninth wonder of the world. And if you really want to pay tribute to my pal mankind, you'll know sometimes a fall can push this you even higher. Have a nice hey, day. Oh.
Tschüss. Bitte? Ich hab sie von oben auf den Tisch gebrettert. Boom. Also was ist mit dir?
What are you looking at? I'm looking at you, Rhea. Is there a problem? You tell me. What do you want? I want you to show me how to harness brutality in the ring. You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. That. I want to do that. I want you to show me how to harness brutality. What, do I have a sign that says free lessons or something? I can't help you. You can help yourself, though. Provided you're not too weak. I'm certainly not too weak. Then cause some chaos and do it somewhere unexpected. Hmm. Maybe a different brand, then. Sure. Show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card. <coughs> but... I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Feeling like Chelsea Green and Zelina Vega could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. We still don't know why the captain decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the captain. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Russian leg sweeping. She re-enters the hey, ring now. Those. What's coming next? Back suplex. Very nice. Placing them into the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Golly, that sounded rough. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? Followed by the stomp. No tally. We got to cover. And she gets the shoulders up. This one isn't going to be ended quite so easily. Oh, man. Oh, my God. A steel chair. Oh, my. One wicked attack after another. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Expected that one. What is she going for here? Driven down face first. And a menacing look from Zelina Vega. Counters that. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Hooked up. Zelina grabs her, setting up. Face buster first. And Chelsea Green's focus being tested there. Zelina proving too much to handle with that. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. She sent flying into the corner. <laughs> Counters right back on Chelsea. Whack! This is turning into Swanson Street. Oh, quite an effective counter. Oh, man. 
Snapmare takeover. Basement kick to the side of the face. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Kendo stick to the skull. She's looking for something under the ring to even her eyes here. Quick thinking from Zelina. She's into the ring again. Oh. She saw that one coming. Ooh, what a forearm club. That dodge is by Chelsea Tong. And a menacing look from Zelina Vega. Standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Nice Russian leg sweep, and the octopus stretch is applied. Oh, what is she going to do here? Is she going to tap out? No, able to slip underneath to deliver some blows, creating the break. Sharp chop. Cut down, face first. Hammerlock coming up. Oh, my. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Driving a knee into the arm. Back into the ring. Oh my God. Mom. Can she keep her down? Kick out before the refs count. A little over eager with that cover. Ducks through. Up and over. Selena Del Sol. Take out Zelina Vega. Fighting back by the counter. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Placed in the corner. Man, heb das doch auf. Was ein Schuh ist das eigentlich? Could she finally put this away? She fights her shoulder up before one. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. A costly error there. She heads into the ring. Kendo stick impact. Oh! Oh! Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. She's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. Oh! Green is being stifled in this one. Green has to find a way to right the ship here. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Oh, to the body with the chair. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. Thanks, Baker. Ducks through. Up and over. Selena Del Sol. That's gotta be it. There's two. And the win outlasts the others in this triple threat match. Tremendous victory in this triple threat match. Three women came into this match, but only one wanted it the most. You are looking at her. Oh, hätte nicht erwartet, dich heute Abend bei SmackDown zu sehen. Und wo kam denn deine neue Aggression her? Denkst du, ich, die habe ich normalerweise nicht? Doch schon, aber das kam mir anders vor. Fast schon beängstigend. Muss ich mir Sorgen um dich machen? Ich probiere etwas Neues aus und vielleicht... Ich gebe mir irgendwie auf den Sack. Wie so, so, eine, so ein Vormund. Okay, so you can at least pretend to have what it takes. Although maybe it was a one-off. It wasn't a one-off. I'm not pretending. Why are you here?
I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And I'm not convinced. Who hurt you anyway? What? No, seriously. Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. So next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. Mm -hmm. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance, do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough or pick someone who may be very talented but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're gonna be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So, we're associated now? Shut up. Meldung. Nach ihrem überraschenden Auftritt bei SmackDown richtet Hikari ihre neu entdeckte Brutalität bei der nächsten Show von Raw gegen Basler. Bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's Cap! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from parts unknown. It's out with the fake man. Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now I think everyone can see. A natural leader who is earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. is ready to call the shots. The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring from one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. Down for a European arm breaker. Striking at will. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Oh, and a spear! Springboard! Shooting star! A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Sit straight into the barricade. WWE Universe on another level. This is her fuel. Oh man, drop kick. And this match will head back to the ring. And now she's looking to go top rope. Uh oh. Oh no! This can't be good. They just missed wildly. Took the high risk, but unfortunately, no reward. Ah, oh, face first off the post. Wow, running senton. Man, that's gonna hurt. Baszler needs to head this attack off of the pass. No, I don't see Shayna struggling much longer. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy.
She returns the favor there. Yeah, she's getting a determined focus again. Oh, man. Ducks through. Up and over. Selena Del Sol. Oh, that's thin. I think there's gonna be some second guessing about trying that move again. Going for the home run. Good night. What a stunner. Hazardous situation for Shayna. Throws her back in from ringside. Going for the pin on Shayna. Wait, what's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair. What's gotten into her? Hey, look out. <laughs> Um, the skip the one just show when he gets force for sure, but not like this. Oh. Oh, man, Is she having second finished? thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Oh. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. Das wäre doch besser gewesen, wenn wir das Match gewonnen hätten und dann angegriffen. Das macht ja sonst keinen Sinn. Die Disqualifikation holt man sich doch meistens nur, wenn man das Gefühl hat, das kann man nicht mehr gewinnen. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room, and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, when I heard the sound her body made when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Das WW Management oder das WW Universal? Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. To a board guided by profit and not people who ask everything of us and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking, and I'm not only done following blindly, I'm gonna do everything in my power to tear apart the system by destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way. That was some performance. You were right. And I meant what I said. The more I gave into my anger in the ring, the more I pushed away the excuses I was making for the people in charge around here. Sure. Whatever. I still don't believe you. <laughs> Are you trying to get on my bad side? If you even have one. I'm just not terribly impressed. 
You may have chosen your opponents and found your anger, but so far, they've all been random. You know what they say, the best tasting livestock are the ones that you've named. I'm not taking this from you, Rhea. I don't care what you think. But you want to see brutality? Come with me to NXT. Because you know what? Despite what you say, you're here talking to me again. I think you want in. Whatever. We'll see how you do at NXT. Carly Prime is an All-American college athlete with lots of hype around her, but I don't think this is what she had in mind for her NXT debut. And facing Cap is one thing, but this is a Cap who's been showing a lot of edge lately. And now we know why. She's been hanging around Rhea Ripley. Good luck, Carly. You're gonna need it. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. show you how much speed kills. Oh, the rope step. Oh, just completely off target there. My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. It's a guy right on the mark. The fatigue is setting in for her. She can withstand the punishment, though. Toss back into the ring. Oh, would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Kick right to the leg. She avoids the attack completely. That took athleticism. That extra rotation creates so much more force than a standard splash. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, nasty flipping senton. Crafty way to get out of harm there. These two having an answer for everything. She avoids the contact. That offense really hitting her hard. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Selena Del Sol. a decisive victory for the cap. It looks like we're getting a repeat of her last match. This Raw superstar doesn't seem content with just a win. Neither does Rhea Ripley. Is this the start of a larger partnership between these two? Cap, what are you doing? I've been worried. You're a lot of things. But this isn't the cap I know. People look up to you. Psycho Sally? These two women go way back before either of them arrived in WWE. I look up to you. It sounds like Sally's pleas might be falling on deaf ears. I don't know about that, Byron. I guess you were right, Michael. There's hope for Cap after all. Or not, Psycho Sally just ate a clothesline from her so-called friend. And she's not stopping there. What's she telling Rhea to do? Uh, 
Well, at Cap's direction, Rhea just introduced steel stairs into the ring. This is never good. I agree. It's taking things way too far. Is she going to slam the steps down on the Psycho Sally? No, oh, come on. Don't do it. This is too much. And down on the Sally's back. This is heinous. Someone get Psycho Sally some medical attention. And this is also sort of joke to Rhea Ripley? And apparently a very funny one, Saxton. Whoa, what just happened? I think we've determined the alpha of this relationship, Byron. Rhea stepping aside to let Cap call the shots? This is the beginning of something big here tonight. A new and brutal power dynamic, that's for sure.